Hey, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer coming up to 5.30 p.m. here on Sunday, the 30th of March. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for parts of north, northeast Texas through 10 p.m. Central Time. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's a radar and satellite animation loop over the last couple of hours. We had that storm in Fort Worth pop up very quickly a little earlier, dropped golf ball size hail in Fort Worth and Arlington before it lagged behind the cool front and when that happened the thunderstorms access to warm unstable air was cut off and it evaporated faster than the hairline on top of my head it is gone adios almost while well. beaters ain't in its wake we have zilch zero nada we are quiet the radar screen is empty for now but we'll take a look at why that may be changing here is the high-resolution rapid refresh model going into tonight and early Monday morning. You can see this model is being pretty insistent on popping up a few isolated, widely scattered thunderstorms closer to 7 to 8 p.m. as maybe some additional upper-level lift arrives across portions of North Texas, Northeast Texas, even into parts of East Texas, Southeast Texas. I'll be honest, we're just going to have to wait and see. I'm curious to see if this morning's round of storms in Central Texas left a little bit of sinking air or subsidence in its wake across Central Texas and in the vicinity of the cool front farther north that may hamper or prevent thunderstorm development. Uh, the stuff in East Southeast Texas uh, this evening, tonight, uh, we're going to have to wait and see. This model showed the same thing for storms earlier today, and that did not verify. But if we do have storms develop over the next few hours, the potential will exist for some of them to produce very large hail, localized damage of winds, and maybe a tornado or two. That being said, clearly, as we approach dinner time, not much going on yet, but the potential for that certainly to change. Storms, if they do develop or when they develop later this evening, will generally move off to the east-northeast, but as that cool front starts moving southeast tonight, storms themselves will begin moving more to the southeast, and some storms may continue in east Texas beyond midnight. Here's the current severe thunderstorm watch through 10 p.m. Central Time for parts of north and northeast Texas. If we do see additional storm development later this evening across east Texas, northeast Texas, I'd expect a new severe thunderstorm watch to be issued through early Monday morning to encompass the potential for large hail and damaging winds. And here is the severe weather outlook updated at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Storm Prediction Center maintaining the possibility of scattered severe storms tonight East Texas, maybe down to the Brazos Valley, Eastern Central Texas, and Northeast Texas. As always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and by downloading the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. You get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar nationwide, and more. We'll keep posting updates on social media as needed, and if we do get super-duper rambunctious in the severe thunderstorm department, we'll be doing live severe weather coverage here on the David Reimer Texas Weather Center YouTube channel, our website, and the Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. We'll talk to you again a bit later on.